What's up, YouTube? Capital G here. Been a hot minute since I've done a card review on this channel, but man, the new Blue Eyes support, <laughs> it just keeps on getting better and better, and the richer just keep on getting richer. Obviously, with this structure deck, I covered the initial batch of cards, like the new Synchro and stuff, and then Blue Eyes got an amazing new Link 1 monster that I didn't cover, and this is the final piece of support to my knowledge, and guess what? It is an XC monster, which I I thought was pretty surprising because I kind of thought that Blue Eyes was synchro based and that Dark Magician would get the XE monsters. Obviously, both of them have a ton of fusions, but now Konami is kind of breaking the trend and Blue Eyes is getting its own official XE monster. And this card is really, really good. Like, Blue Eyes is going to get to the point where. They just don't even have extra deck space left because there's so many good monsters and good cards to run. Anyways, this is Indigo Eyes Silver Dragon. It is a rank 8 light dragon XC monster, 4,000 attack and 0 defense. Correct me if I'm wrong, I'm pretty sure off the top of my head that those are Blue Eyes cast max dragon stats. Could be wrong about that, I don't think I am. Anyways, the materials are two level 8 dragon monsters, so obviously you can make it in Blue Eyes very easily, or you can make this in, I don't know, a deck like Galaxy, but uh, it is better in Blue Eyes, but you can't make it in Galaxy. Three effects on this bad boy, first and third are hard ones per turn. Uh, all of them are, well, the first and third are really, really strong. First effect, if this card is exceed summon, you can negate the effects of all face-up cards your opponent currently controls. Second effect, cannot attack directly unless it has a normal monster as material. Third effect, which I really love, uh, you can detach one material from this card, then target one normal monster in your graveyard or banishment, special summon it, and if you do, it gains 1,000 attack. So the first effect, just off rip, is obviously incredible. Uh, the new Primordial Archetype has, has a monster that has an effect similar to this, but, I mean, this one negates all your opponent's monsters, all their face-up back row. If they've got a field spell, basically anything they have on the field is going to get negated. That is incredibly powerful, especially if you're going second, which is pretty much when you want to make this card. The third effect is also really strong because it almost seems like this card was designed to just OTK, to one-shot the opponent. Like, that is... Was, was the intended purpose for this card because you detach a material. Ideally, you're probably going to summon a Blue Eyes White Dragon back from your graveyard. Maybe your opponent was cheeky and they bestialed one of your Blue Eyes or something like that. And then you just summon it back from the banishment, which... I don't know, is this also like a new trend? Because we put that type of effect on uh, the Fiendsmith Lacrima, and that card got banned. But the whole idea of I can summon from Graveyard or Banishment is <laughs> that's kind of new to me, but whatever. This card has it. But in addition to getting, you know, a Blue Eyes back from the Graveyard or Banishment, it also comes back at 4,000 attack, which, of course, is the same attack value of this card. So, you know, Reborn of Blue Eyes, have this Silver Eyes on field. That's 8,000 damage. What more could you really ask for out of a single rank 8 monster? I think this card is absolutely incredible. I mean, you're getting the negation. You're getting potentially 8,000 damage on board. Yes, it can attack directly unless you have, you know, pretty much a Blue Eyes White Dragon as material. But if you're playing the Blue Eyes deck, like if you guys have seen any of the, the footage, the duels and stuff like that, you know summoning a Blue Eyes is pretty easy. So just detach an effect monster or heck, just use two Blue Eyes to summon this. Honestly, this card is amazing, and really, I am surprised by how good the cards are for the Blue Eyes Structure Deck. Like, it tells me that Konami really wants this uh, support and this theme to be meta, because all three Extra Deck monsters, unless I'm missing one, the new Synchro, the new Link 1, this new XC monster, they're all really, really good. So I definitely could see Blue Eyes becoming like a meta deck, and it feels like each extra deck card has its own utility and kind of niche purpose. Obviously, this is the go second card, but it is a heck of a go second card. I think this card is absolutely amazing. I think you have to run it, and yeah, definitely looking to more uh, looking to to play Blue Eyes when it gets so many of these good cards. Anyways, whatever you guys think, you leave that in the description below. Thank you guys for watching as always.